A story out of Florida as we're learning more information in the disappearance there of Madeline Maddie Soto as an individual has been arrested, not necessarily in connection with this, but for other charges. For more on this, let's go out to our Fox 35 team, Randy Hildreth, with the latest. Randy, what can you tell us about this latest story? Yeah, hey, good evening to you. So late this afternoon, Kissimmee police released the warrant for the mom's boyfriend. His name, Stefan Stearns. Uh, at this point, police say that he was the last person who saw Maddie Soto. Some of the details of this warrant uh, too graphic to share on TV, but what we have learned is that it appears Stern told investigators that he did a factory reset on his phone the same day that 13-year-old was reported missing. Maddie, if you see this, please come home. A mother begs for answers to Fox 35 in the search for her missing daughter, 13-year-old Maddie Soto. I'm trying to hope for the best, but I'm just, I'm scared for her. I want her to be okay. Days later, Orange County Sheriff's Office names the man in the back of our interview as their prime suspect in the case, Stefan Stearns, Maddie's mom's boyfriend. Stearns is the last known person to have seen Maddie. He is not charged in the teen's disappearance, but was arrested last night and charged with sexual battery and possession of child sexual abuse material. Kissimmee police are assisting with the case. They say investigators uncovered the images on Stearns' phone and the alleged acts happened inside the family's home in Kissimmee. In the arrest affidavit, it notes Stearns, quote, provided consent to search his phone. However, he stated he accidentally performed a factory reset on his phone on February 26th. 2024. The same day, Maddie was reported missing. Stearns was expected in court today in connection to these new charges, but... Based upon his uh, refusal to come to court, he's got an out-of-county warrant out of Osceola County. His bonds will remain at none. Meanwhile, still no Maddie. Whenever you have a person go missing, especially a child, Timing is critical. Matt Aubin isn't connected to the search, but has helped law enforcement agencies in Florida and across the country with missing person cases. He says investigators are not only looking into the area where Maddie went missing, but also who she may have come in contact with and what happened leading up to her disappearance. When investigating something, one, old is gold. We have to go far back into their history as far as we have to in order to truly map out everyone and everything that's linked to that person. As we mentioned, Stearns is being held in jail tonight with no bond. Andy. Thank you so much, uh, Randy. And it's certainly a very wild story, a very sad story, potentially around the disappearance of this 13-year-old girl. And I have to ask you a question as a reporter, because you see the person that was recently arrested in the back of the interview. Kind of what's that like in that moment? Then you realize that potential suspect there is in a interview that potentially was already conducted. Yeah, shocking, chilling. Those are the two immediate words that come to mind. One of our other reporters actually worked on this story, so we've been following this all week, and it is one continued to gain steam as we uncover additional layers to the story and as we uh, await the word, hopefully, that Maddie is found safely. Uh, but in, in working on this story, and one of our other reporters actually did the initial interview, but in, in you know, finding out that this person has now been named a suspect in the case. And I want to be clear, he is not in custody uh, connected to her disappearance, does not face charges in connection to uh, Maddie's disappearance. But for law enforcement to now say that he is their prime suspect, definitely chilling. And, and to watch that interview back certainly sends chills. That is a very good way to put it. Randy Hildreth, thank you again for joining us here on Live Now from Fox.